God is good. And all the time. Good morning. How are you? When is today? Today is on Friday, is it? So today, God wants to speak with us, is it? Yes. And in front of you, I just want to give the word of God. God. And the word says, in the beginning there was a word. God. And the word was with God. And the word was? God. And the word was God. Praise God. Amen. Praise God again. You know very well, you know very well that when Christ was on earth, he taught using parables. He taught using? Parables. He taught using? Parables. Parables. And there was a time he gave a parable of the prodigal son. The parable of the prodigal? Son. The parable of the prodigal? Son. son. And in this parable, Christ was teaching about Forgiveness. Can you say forgiveness? Forgiveness. 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 Reconciliation. Reconciliation. Love. 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 And repatriation. Repatriation. Yes. We find that in this parable. There were two brothers and their father. There were two brothers and their father. And one of the youngest brothers said to his father, Give me what belongs to me. Give me what belongs to me. Me, I want to inherit you when I am young. And the father gave him what belongs to, to him. And then this guy left the home and he went with all his property, all right? Yes. Like, for example, you can be given a lot of things by your father, and you go to Nairobi. Nairobi. You know Nairobi, there is a lot of eh, good things, all right? Yes. yes. So when he went there, in his Nairobi now, he started using what his father had given him, all right? Yes. He wasted. In fact, the Bible says he started wasting. Wasting. If we had money, he started using it anyhow. Sawa sawa. Without a plan. He would take beer. Alright. He would go to disco. Alright. He would do all things that would make him happy. Do you understand? And then it reached a time when he did not have the ma the money. And there was hunger in the country where he went. So he started thinking of himself. Eh? And he was like, what can I do? Am I going to die here? All right? Yes. yes. So what happened? He started looking for a job. And he got a job where he would feed the pigs. He would feed the what? Pigs. The pigs. And you know pigs are very dirty, is it? Yes, pigs are ever dirty. So he would eat whatever the pigs were eating. You know pigs eat everything, all right? Yes. Whatever they come on their way, they, they feed on that. And then after some time, he thought of himself and he asked himself, there are so many servants in my father's home who eat and drink and even sleep well. God is good. So he thought that he should go back and at least ask for forgiveness. All right? Yes. And that's what happened. He went back to his home and he met his father and he said, My father, I have just come and I know what I did, that you gave me all what belongs to me. And now I am back without even a coin. But I have just come because I know you may forgive me if I humble myself. All right? Yes. So he asked for forgiveness. And his father, because he was praying hard to God,
God that one day he would want to see his lost son. He was full of joy. All right. He was very happy and he embraced his his son. All right. But the other older son was not happy of that. All right. Because when he came back home, he was like, "What is happening in this home?" I did not leave such celebration. And he called one of the servants, all right? Yes. And he asked, what could be happening here? And the, the, the servant was very clear. He told him, be silent. Be what? Relax and enjoy. enjoy. Because your lost brother who went has come back or is found, all right? Yes. And we have slaughtered the biggest bull around, all right? Yes. And now we are enjoying. So he was like, I have been working here with my father. He has never even slaughtered a chicken for me. But when the lost son, who went and wasted his properties, come, he has slaughtered the best. And then his father told him, eh, don't worry, my son. Hold on. Because whatever belongs here, it's you. It's yours. God is good. And all the time. So what do we learn from this parable of the prodigal son? One, there is there is love. There is what? Love. Love between the father and the son. And that love, it should be there also between the God the Father and the people that he created. How, however, however you will be you belonging God or you will be doing against the will of God. He has that he has that uh, element of forgiving you. All right? Yes. Because our God is full of what? Love. Our God is full of love. Love. The other thing that we learn from that parable is forgiveness. Is what? Forgiveness. Forgiveness. You should learn to forgive those who wrong you. You should learn to forgive those who? Those who wrong you. Those do, who do against your wishes. Forgive them. If they humble themselves and they ask for forgive. forgiveness. Forgiveness. Like this lost son who found his sins who found his mistakes, but he realized that if I go and humble myself before my father, he has to forgive. And that's what happened, because the father loved him, and that is why he forgave. And this guy came with a lot of humility, all right? Yes, so when you humble yourself and you ask for forgiveness, then you should forgive. Yes, Na wewe unasamehe yana. Sawa sawa? Yes. If somebody, mutu wakikukanyanga na kuwabie pole, unafaa useme? Eh? Yeah. Unafaa useme ya sante? Yeah. Akikuwabia pole, unalivika. Sawa sawa? Yes. The other thing that we learn from that parable is hope. Is what? Hope. Never lose hope. Never lose what? Hope. Because this guy, was alone in a country that he was not known. He did not have even a coin, but he did not hang himself. Did he hang himself? No. No, he discovered, he, he thought of himself and was like, let me go back. So that shows he had a lot of hope. Hope, he had a lot of confidence, all right? Yes. Yes, so in this life that we are living, we are facing a lot of challenges, is it? Sometimes we sleep hungry. Sometimes we don't have even money to buy the soap. Sometimes we don't have the parents. Sometimes we wish we could be from our family, is it? But that does not give us our destiny, that we should lose hope and do some other bad things that annoy us both. All right? Yes, so I am sure when we are here, we are not from our families, eh? but we should have hope that we get that education such that we make our future bright. We make our future bright. And 
because we are giving you now the education, there is hope that if you take <coughs> tea minus sugar, what we call do here, is it? You will take one a cup of tea with, with the sugar. God is good. have faith in God as well. Alright? And that's why we pray. That's why we so if you pray and you don't believe in your prayer, then you won't have a successful prayer or answers. Alright? But if you pray and you believe and you trust and you have hope, then that means if you are patient, you will be answered in the right way or at the right time. Sindio? Sawa sawa? Yes. Yes, so tunyenyeke na tuombe msamaha na tusameheane na Mungu atatubariki. God is good. Amen. And all the time. God is good. If you are happy and you know say amen. If you are happy and you know say amen. If you are happy and you know if you are happy and you know, clap your hands. If you are happy and you know, clap your hands. If you are happy and you know, clap your hands. If you are happy and you know, clap your hands. If you are happy and you know, clap your hands. If you are happy and you know, clap your hands. If you are happy and you know, clap your hands. If you are happy and you know, clap your hands. If you are happy and you know, clap your hands. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. If you are happy and you know. Hallelujah. If you are happy and you know. Hallelujah. Say the day. We see 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 the day. Thank you so much. God bless you.